Good morning, world. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh, there's Zabby. Or Buckeye, I mean. Buckeye Buns. Want to see you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's being very good, too, from what I hear. Hi guys! Oh Hi, guys! Everyone. Sorry, we're running late. We'll fill you in on the the whole details of why we're late. <laughs> it's been a a busy morning. You want to click the lights? Oh, oh! And I'm gonna get rid of that thing. That drives me crazy. Good morning, guys. We gotta be careful. Every time you do this, it like. Let's see here. Hi, Butterbean. Stop. Get out of here. <laughs> I hate, they're like, it's those stupid Norton pop-ups. And it won't let you close them. They're like, okay, fine. Fine. Stay there. Okay, see if I care. It's like, minimize, close it, remind me later, show me, don't show me again. And I won't let you do any of them. Fine. Fine. See if I care. Oh. <gasps> Miss Nyota! Hey. Hi, pretty. What are you doing up there? Uh, did you want to say hi to the camp? <laughs> okay, there they are. Look. Bucky. Okay. Little shaved buns. Look. <clears throat> say good morning. Well, he's like, hey guys, thank you so much for all you did for me. Yeah. He's like, because of you, I can run around like a wild man. Even though I'm not really supposed to. Um, I'm not, you're not supposed to be up that high. <laughs> oh, brother. He's such a rascal. <laughs> These kids are crazy. He is a gorgeous boy. He is absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's silly. Okay, Buckeye or boy. They're saying Buckeye or boy. Okay, apparently him and... Yeah, no running, no jumping, no climbing. Did you hear that? <clears throat> hey. I checked the sutures. Um, no running. I know, I didn't even wear no my jumping. crown. I took my crown home. Oh my gosh, you guys want to hear this. So that crown, if Robert O is on, um, I love that crown so much. It's ridiculous. Is Buckeye okay being out so much before he gets the stitches out? Yes, he's okay. Um, he's doing fantastic. His stitches are looking good. I haven't even shown you guys. Let me see. I haven't even seen mm -hmm. him for a while. Oh, you haven't seen him for a while. Can we show him? Can we take your buns off? Here, let's see. Don't want, he's got severely dry skin from the, uh, come here. And he looks kind of weird because he's all like growing back in and all furry, like weird skinned and stuff. But <laughs> check these out. Oh, wow. oh Bucky, hold still. He's like on a, in a constant state of moving. Hi, there. Wow. The Buckeye stitches. Um, he looks real weird because he's all patchy, dry skinned. Um, he had uh, he had what what is that called, guys? And you guys have had it too. If you've ever had surgery, and you get that surgical tape on your skin mm. where it's it's called like tape burn or. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't even hardly see the line. I mean, you have to look really hard to even see the stitches. Like. Yeah, he is getting some hair growth back. Yep, yeah, it's even, he's he's looking fuzzy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> he's looking fuzzy. He's like, I'm doing great, guys. Look at his little ripples. I know. He's like, Mom, can I go play again? Okay, can we put your suit back on? Just so nothing gets hung up on it, but I mean, it's amazing. Like, I can't. You can't even see the line, yeah. the suture line. You can barely see the stitches. Do you want me to see? Yeah. It? See how? It I mean, looks good. Other than their little razor burnies. <clears throat> Is that my day? There we go. Ready? I know. We've only got a couple more days of this. 
but you know what i think even him tolerating his suit is a whole difference now too just because it don't hurt no more you know but i think he'll be very happy when it's completely off <laughs> yes, I, I will be very happy but for right now it's keeping my buns warm because i'm naked there we go okay fly fly well, no running no jumping <laughs> Yeah, don't fly. Walk just slowly across the room. Does Buckeye have different suits to wear? No, just that one. <laughs> but luckily, um, we're almost done with it. The vets have done such a great job. Will he have to stay in the pen for a while once he gets the stitches out? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so either. I've wondered that myself, but I wouldn't think so. Okay, Lynette, you need to scooch over a little bit more. I'm way too in the... <laughs> It would be easier if we just moved the cam. It probably would. <laughs> hey guys. Um, yeah. So, Bucky's yes, yeah. But um, he's doing fantastic. He's being being a really good patient, and honestly, he loves running around. But even when I do pick him up and put him back in his pen, he's he's um he's very good about it and very. Phil, does a great job. <laughs> Good job, Miss Nyota. <laughs> um, finish your story on your crown and how much you love it. Oh my gosh, I love, I love that crown. She told um, me yesterday she's gonna wear it everywhere. <laughs> I do. I love it. And I was telling my husband when I brought it home, and I said, and I don't know about you guys, but is it all of you guys is kind of like all you girls out there? I mean, I think we've all kind of secretly have wanted a crown in your life. Like, have you ever wanted a crown? Like, honestly, like I have. Oh, yeah. I have always you dreamed of actually having a little girl. Like oh, no. I've always. <laughs> oh, I have always. Oh, I've always wanted a tiara and I've never, ever had one. So um, I, I'm I'm actually really tickled to have it. Um, it. It's beautiful. It's stunning. I took it home last night and I showed Eric and I just I love it. I love it. I don't know. It's, she, oh. she made Eric bow down to her. Oh, great. Evening. Perfect. Well, now we have proof of both. Great. Good. Okay. Um, so let, let us fill you in on what we've been doing today. So we started our morning off first with um, a duck issue. <laughs> Tell them about the duck. <laughs> you know, one thing about this job is every day it's a new adventure. It is. Whether we know about it or if it's a spur on the moment. But it's yeah. a new adventure. It is. So we have a duck that was supposedly walking funny. So we initially, um, th I thought, I thought um, possibly like, you know, um, what is that? That's the word I'm looking for. In heat? In, in heat. <laughs> I don't know what you call it for a, a duck, but and heat mating yeah turns out it's not mating it has an egg stuck so um there's a procedure on this how does this <laughs> procedure go and i had to ruin go and tell what I did. so we had to figure out what to do when a egg is stuck up in a in duck, duck. A stuck in a duck. Uh, the egg's not showing. Um, no, so no, 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 no. <sighs> okay. Well, that's just. <laughs> <sighs> well, then. Uh, Speaking of unexpected surprises, I'm glad it didn't come down on my head. Okay. So apparently you have to soak a duck in warm water for at least an hour. Intermittently. Yes. Um, what, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to talk? Okay. I'll clean. Okay. <laughs> no, hey, first, here. No, no, no. Let's not drink. Sorry, guys. Oh. Let's not drink some water. They're like, $30? <laughs> right. <sighs> Sorry. Everything's fine. 
This is how our mornings went. This is how our morning has gone, and this is why we're a half hour late. Um, so apparently when a, um, a egg is stuck in a duck, <laughs> you have to soak the duck in warm water for an hour and um, let it sit there. And you guys just let it set for several or for an hour and you kind of alternate this throughout the day and you continue doing this until the egg passes. So that's what we were doing in the welcome room. And, um, <laughs> oops, look at this. This is the duck. I had to ruin one of Lynette's precious totes. That well, had a lid. That had a lid. I had to cut a hole and please make sure you soak your duck in warm water. Um, on the flip side, the duck was super happy. She loves swimming and splashing around. So she had a great time actually. Egypt was enthralled with, um, the water duck he is like what is this big bird I don't understand it he was um, yeah he had a great time watching the duck and he's like I want to be friends with it oh she was very happy she's like all the other ducks have been kicking her out of the pool so she's like I got my own pool so we're gonna do that for a while that's a little hole for her head to poke out of it wasn't successful this go around, but um, they're gonna keep. We're gonna keep trying. Yeah. So, so we did that first thing this morning at like nine. Thanks, Cindy. Boy, glad you just showed up at the right time. So oh, the timing. So, oh, you might want to yeah. shake those out. Wait. Um, so Cindy's duck is getting soaked. <laughs> Um, and we're just kind of rotating. Do we have a schedule, Cindy, on when we're rotating? Or? Well, you really only want to do it one time per day because if she sits in the water too much, she's going to get used to not, you know, wanting to push. So you really only want to do it one hour per day. Oh, okay. So right now she's out, she's out in the dog run. Okay. And tomorrow morning we'll do it again. Okay. And so we're just going to. Well, we'll be doing the old manual going in and getting it. Cindy, please write this story for us. So that's what we're doing. Story. The a duck with an egg stuck. Um, <laughs> so that's what we're working on right now with, with her. Um, on the upside, she is loving the bath, and oh, especially yeah. the warm bath. Absolutely. She's having a great time with it. Um, she's just quacking and squawking away and having a good time splashing. It's like being in labor. Yes. Um, they said another thing that you could do is try to um, rub their tummy. So... Mm -hmm. I tried, but I couldn't get it. Soak the duck in the bed of the monster truck. <laughs> what monster, we had a monster truck? The monster truck story. Uh, we need a monster truck. Oh, yeah. I got to show you the monster truck video that Mike did. I see that. Oh, yeah, I Mike. Guess, I haven't seen it. I heard Mike. It. We haven't named her, but we should name her because she's bringing a brave little trooper. So, um, so anyway, so that's what's happening with her. That's where we started. Um, what do we do after that, Lynette? Um, we had some visitors. We did during the dokes, duck suck, duck suck, duck suck. Soak? The duck, the duck soak. soak. <laughs> oh, I'm sleepy. I'm not going there. Calgon is a good name for a duck. Oh, brother. Oh, <sighs> anyways, so, um, so we had some visitors during that. After we were done with that, Lena and I did... We had a couple blood draws that we had to yeah. get done, so we did some blood draws. Um, did I scare him? You might have. Oh. Right <laughs> you okay, Rachel? Something scared him. Um, so we had uh, a couple blood draws that we got done. Um, so we got those done. Should I? Might as well just tell them about them. <laughs> sure. Why not? Let's just get crazy. Um, so we have two new cats. So the first one is actually one of our volunteer kitties. Um, she had been having issues with a kitty cat in her house. Um, we've been aware, aware of this for uh, quite a while now, um, but she had been issues having issues with one of her cats going tinkle in the house. So um, after working with us, we agreed that we would put the kitty in the cove. So we kind of knew about this kitty for a while. His name is Bandit. 
and he is super cute so he is going to be a new Kofi Cindy's already met him and he actually fits in perfectly with the Cove um he's just this big old fluffy boy um very handsome and um very 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 loving so him we kind of knew was gonna arrive this uh his name is Bandit and and he looks like Frank and he looks like Victor he's a brown tiger and he's super sweet I would get him out and show you um I would get him out and show you, but we just kind of did some pokes and some vaccines on him, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of a break. Yeah, litter, litter everywhere. Litter, litter in our hair. Um. <laughs> Hi, Nyota. Hi, Nyotas. She's like, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um, so Bandit, let me pull him up here. Bandit is 11 pounds, one ounce. So he's he's a big, big boy. And I do have a date of birth for him. His date of birth is 42717. Can I take a picture of Nyota? Nyota girl. Nyota beans. She's grooming. She's got to be a very pretty lady. Nyota. I can see her like head. She's she's barely looking up. Um, so the first one is Bandit. Um, he's such a handsome boy, and I think he's gonna fit in the cove perfectly. The second boy is actually a fluke. There is a very very strong rule of never taking in a cat two weeks prior to a vacation. Um, I always adhere to the rules. Always. <laughs> Um, this one is actually a fluke. It's been a really beautiful, um, beautiful, we've had some great weather here. So on Wednesday at my office, actually, <clears throat> the girls there had the front door and the back door open. And um, coming, teetering in the back door was a cute little, a little orange baby. Um, he is, he is really cute. He's cute. Um, he's a cute little orange baby. It just came teetering in the back door of the office, just meowing and, and chit-chatting away. And um, the girls, of course, sent me a picture, and they're like, um, there's this cat here. So, of course, I said, you know, bring him up, and, and uh, I'll work on him. So the interesting thing is he was brought up on Wednesday night. On Thursday morning, we happened to have a spare opening, so we threw him on the transport truck and he actually also went up to Humane, Ohio and got neutered. So th this was all before we even had him tested. So I was like, please let this test come out good. It is, it is good. It's pretty unusual that the test is not good. Thank goodness. But um, his test did come out good and he is neutered now. Um, he is the nicest boy. Um, can you, do you, can you, would you mind showing him? Sure. I'm sorry, or Cindy, or or do you want to, or do you want to chat real quick, or Mary? Where is he? The bottom thumper's room. Okay. Or the bottom pin, the orange boy, the one that Mary Mary grabbed him up and put him in a pin to take him to Humane Ohio. And then, in another ironic turn, I don't know why, but someone had just turned in a name a cat name, named Waldo, on the same day that we took him in, or the same day or the next morning turned in the cat the name Waldo and it was the cutest name and I looked at this orange boy and I'm like oh my gosh he is a perfect Waldo <laughs> so his name is Waldo he's a little bit wet do you want it oh sure, sure yeah. he's a little bit wet because I washed my hands back oh, that's real okay. quick he's real he's real tiny he is tiny he's only about five months hi He's like, here's Waldo. So we did find Waldo. Um, he is such a cute boy. Um, he is so nice. He just had, um, poor, poor thing, he's had a rough two days. He was neutered yesterday and some vaccines today and blood draws. And But it's we're only, we're on our way up from here. Okay, buddy? I know. I know. I know, buddy. Do you want him 
Isn't he handsome? Yep. Oh, and he's just a little peanut of a thing. He's just a, look at him. He's just, he does look like a young spike. That's what I said. That's what KB just said. He looks like a young spiker. He just kind of teetered his way right in. Hi. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. And I love his little eyeliner. So he loves eating. Um, just like Spiker. <laughs> um, he's very, I know, I'm sorry, you've had it. He's like, you've been mean to me. You, you gave me a snip snip. You gave me pokies today. I know, poor sweetie, I'm sorry. So there's Waldo. I know, yeah, he, he's like, I just wanted to ship a package, that's all. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's a real sweet boy. So um, you, what's what's kind of ironic is, and and I didn't tell you guys this, but a, a couple months ago, an orangey, an orange kitten showed up at my office, um, and and I, this is terrible. I had to turn him away. We had absolutely no room. We had absolutely no room. There was nowhere I could even put him. Um, and I had to turn away. So I actually even had to deny myself bringing in a cat, you know, which was awful. And I'm thinking this is him. So I think this is actually the second time he's come to me trying to come to FFRC. So he came back. Or you may go back in your pen. Hi, sweeties. Oh, he looks pretty comfy. Hi, sweeties. Yeah, I know he had a rough day. I know. Tell Aunt Lin but Aunt Lynette makes him purr. She is the ma his name is Waldo. Someone turned it he did come back. He really this is I'm I'm very, very confident that this is this is the kitten because that would be about two months ago, about the age of the kitten that I couldn't take and he was also orange. Um and it was awful. I I was like, you know, so I know how I don't know. But when we were full, we were full. I couldn't, I had no pin open for anything. So, but here he is. So he's back. <laughs> he's so cute. And look at his tail. His tail's really unusual to me because it's kind of fluffy. Don't worry, Buckeye. You want to go back? I know. So we're working on getting him all squared away. Let me go put him back real quick and... Um, I think you're right. I think he was just meant to be here. I, I know. Mm -hmm. This is so short. You want to go to Aunt Lynette? Oh. Aunt Lynette? I know. He's old. Oh. I know. Aww. Don't judge by the crying, guys. He had a rough couple of days. He just got snippy snipped. We just gave him some vaccines. We just do, drew some blood on him. So he's really a sweet boy, but he's just having a rough day. <laughs> Poor thing. He is such a, such a nice boy though. Very, very sweet. So that's what we've been doing um, this whole time. Um, that in the meantime, um, my dog is actually getting surgery today. So during all of this, I had to call from my vet on an update on my girl. So, um, that is kind of been how the day's going and that's what's been delaying our time. So I'm so sorry for all that, but I think we're, I think we're caught up now. So Cindy just fell from the ceiling. I know poor feller has been through it this past week. I, he has, yes. Um, was he in a commercial area or mixed? What do you mean KB? Um, we had, you mean Waldo? Um, Waldo has been in a pin, if that's what you're asking. She's okay. <clears throat> when a cat shows up like that, how do you know it's not someone else's pet? Um, that's a great question, Zoe. There's not really much houses around where, um, where I'm at. So one thing we always do is we always, um, will scan them for a chip. Oh, was he in a commercial area or mixed? Okay. I see what you're saying. Um, it's a mostly commercial area. It is mixed, but um, he was unneutered and there's no chip. And we always do keep an eye out for um, missing pet pages. So if for some reason it shows up, you know, that he's missing, you know, then we'll definitely 
uh, you know, let them know he's here, but we have not seen anything yet. So we'll keep an eye out for that. But, um, but yeah, this is the second time I've seen this little fella. So I, I have a feeling he was just kind of an uh, area stray, you know, which, which definitely happens, but that's always my fear too of that. It's a pet somewhere, but you kind of have to look at the, the, um, circumstances as he neutered, um, he was out roaming around. Obviously, I saw him roaming around in the winter, um, unneutered, no chip. So chances are that he doesn't have a, an owner. That's what I'm going by. Um, is there any chance we can see Derechio? Yes, there is a chance we can see Derechio. If that scared him. When it scared him? <laughs> Spiker's like, uh -huh. I'm coming. Um... um Thank you. Oh, my doggy will be okay. I'm sure it's, it's she's going for a very minor um, procedure, so a dental and some dental work, <laughs> um, and like a, a lumpy removed. So people do contact us if they have a missing pet. You know, it's just, shockingly they don't contact us that much. Oh, <gasps> here's your derecho. Here, do you want me to move so you can? I was here. Come here, let me. Yeah. Let me. Oh, you want me to hold him? Oh, hey, I was just trying to clean your face, man. Okay, all right, it's him here. Oh, <laughs> oh you big lug. Oh, you big lug. Hi, will you have an eye doobie? Let's clean you up first. There we go, okay. There, check out that handsomeness. Thank you, Sam. Well, you gotta look this way. No problem. I'll get that stuff. That's no, all right, I'll get it. Do I have pictures of my dog? I do. Um, yes, in two Nyota's room. So I've had a lot of questions asked about that. Mrs. Charles, are you here? I hope she is so she can see your handsomeness. Zerecho is pretty beloved. So is... Hey, you sticking your tongue out at your fan? What do you got on your head? I think he's got food on his head. <laughs> Look at Let me get my face out of the way. over here. Did you get scared last night? Sometimes we get startled, huh? I love when they stick their tongue out. How much does Derecho weigh? Um, actually not as much as you would think he weighs. Um, his normal weight is around 14 pounds. He'll fluctuate, um, he'll fluctuate about a pound. Um, he's gone as low as 13 uh and a half pounds i think generally he'll also go about as high as 14 and a half pounds for him due to his um uh his ch it's better for him if he stays a little bit we, we kind of actually want him more around the 13 pound range that's kind of the the most ideal but him and spiker both are a little bit heavier and they just, they like food. I can't blame them. So do I. So we just kind of let them be a little bit. The big thing with both of them is they're both scarfers and barfers. Um, and that's where we, you know, <laughs> we got to watch them a little bit and not necessarily let them just have their free reign of food because they will, um, they will eat a lot. Huh? Scarf and barf. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so he, he's, a, he's super cute. <laughs> Um, Mr. Narisha. Yeah, I think at last wait, I think, uh, here, stop, 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 stop. It's my luck game. Yeah, I think at last wait, um, I think he was down to, oh, about 13 and a half, but then we weighed him again and he was back up to close to 14. So he's, he stays right in his range. Just like us, they fluctuate a little bit. It's just kind of knowing when the fluctuations are really good fluctuation or bad fluctuation. Um, a lot of people think that he's actually much heavier than what he is. Um, he's actually not that heavy. He really isn't. Mom, my cat at home's 14 pounds. So he's like me. He's big boned. Yeah, and the camera adds <laughs> the camera adds 50 pounds. Exactly. You're back off cam again. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Here, look, we'll, we'll, we'll just breathe. <laughs> so you, just, you, you want break? You want a break? Okay. Give her a break. Um, okay, so Nyota. 
um, Nyota's room. Mm -hmm. So our plan is to try to work on Nyota today. Um, our plan is to try to um, get her. We're going to look her over. Um, I do feel like um, she might be improving possibly a little bit health wise. Like I feel like my, my worry, I think that the big issue with her might just be more of a, um, a like an emotional mental issue, you know, where she, I think she might thrive more in a private area. This is, this is my dog, Zoe. Isn't she cute? <laughs> She's a boxer. This is, there we go. She's a boxer. That's her sleeping. Yeah, I think it's more of a, thank you. Stress is the word I was looking for. More of a stress issue. So, um, anyways, so we've got her room. Um, Cindy came up with some great ideas right, right now. We've got her room situated to where um, she'll fit in it perfectly. And I think it's a good way to go where we haven't, I don't know how I'm trying to say this. We haven't put any expense into it yet because before we get to my pop's gritty. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. Oh, I believe it. The table's gritty too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can see. Yeah. Your pop was right there. So her room is going to be right here. So what we're going to do is, um, her room is going to be with Vincent. Now, if you know your first thought is like, hold on a tick. I know. Um, why I'm doing this is because I think Vincent's is actually going to be the best room. It's got a window. It's got perfect high space. It's got her TV or it's got a TV and it does have, um, Vincent in there. I know, but, um, Vincent's, um, while he's technically in quarantine, we're doing that really out of an, an abundance of caution. And I think getting Nyota into a safe place is more of, what am I trying to say? More of more in, important than the slight risk of putting her with Vincent, if that makes sense. Right. Um, Vincent's technically been cured. His actual blood work is actually even better than Wheeler's. What? Uh, more of a priority. Thank you. More of a priority than um, Vincent's um, quarantine stage. Vincent's blood work is actually even better than Wheeler's was at this point. So um, his is showing fully cured where Wheeler's was cured but still in a high range if that makes sense so um so i think it's worthwhile i think it's a great um plan i think vincent is such a chill cat i don't think he's gonna pester her at all if for some reason he does and there's some sort of issue or she pesters him or vice versa i have a plan on that so rest assured that there is a plan i have a backup plan for what i would do if that was the case i don't think that will be the case but I have a backup plan if it is. Will Nyota have any high places to go? Yes, yes. she will. So um, there are already shelves in that room. Um, before we went to any expense and you guys, and I'll go over you guys is like Nyota room fundraiser that you guys did. Um, before I go to any expense into that, we haven't actually all kind of set up for her where it will work now because we want to first see if this will even work for her. What if we put her in there, we spend a thousand dollars fixing it all up and she's like, I hate this. <laughs> um, so then we don't want to, you know, then we've just spent a thousand dollars that could have been spent elsewhere for other needs or whatever it may be for something that Nyota hated. So we've got it situated now where I think it'll be a perfect fit. And then if she absolutely loves it, then we'll continue on and we'll get some cool stuff that you guys have like fundraised for. So what was raised was crazy. You guys, I just can't even. So th initially that day, will the room be sanitized before she goes in there? Yes, it is. It, it's already been done. Um, yesterday, Cindy and Denise went in there and just 
head to toe cleaned top to bottom i mean sanitized bleached just they did an awesome they job. did wonderful and vincent was just like doop, doop. he helped a lot too um so yeah i think it will be good and better than litter on your head this will be a really better way that we can quarantine her or i mean keep an eye on her i'm just i'm really excited about this so anyways um when we had come to you to give you guys the update about Nyota, we had not intended on asking for money. There was one point where um, <coughs> I, I said we were going to ask for you guys' help because there was one book or there was one like um, cat bed that I kind of wanted that would be put up on a wall, but it's kind of expensive. It's like $90. It was $98. But you put it up on the wall and I thought she would love it. So that's where I was going to ask for you guys' help and see if, you know, a couple of you guys could go together maybe and buy it or, or donate for it or something like that. And before I even said, or like right after I said, you know, we were going to ask for you guys' help, you guys were like, sure, here it is, money. And you guys were just donating for Nyota. And it was just, it was absolutely crazy and wild. And you guys are just unbelievable. Um, it was just, it was amazing. So, um, it was just amazing. And when I got back to my emails, there were even more that had come through that weren't even accounted for. So you guys ended up raising, I hope you sit down. I don't even think the mods know the full total. I don't think you know. I don't. Mm -mm. It was $1,895. I'm like... And, you know, on top of that, so not only did you guys raise this a massive amount of money, and a lot of you guys said that, you know, and, th and thank you so much for that, too. A lot of you guys said, you know, use it also for whatever may need, you know, for Nyota, but, you know, whatever may need, too. So I appreciate that. But um, on top of that, I $1,895. Um, and I'm like, that. it's just, it's just amazing amazing um so i'm like oh my gosh i i like i was gonna see if you guys could buy like a 98 dollar shelf <laughs> you know <laughs> like a 90 dollar little thing um so you guys are just amazing so this will i mean this will help with so many different things and um and we we will not put a thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars in one room i mean we was not expecting that at all we mm -hmm. was thinking maybe a hundred bucks but yeah yeah um so we will use the rest of the money for other needs 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 yeah yeah because i mean not only on top of this i mean you guys are just amazing i mean i've had people that have reached out and said like you know I've, I've gotten her this and I've gotten her this and I've gotten her this. So, I mean, um, you guys are just, I mean, Nyota, the love that, oh, Nyota. Do I need to duck? <laughs> Nyota. Nyota. They love you. Um, yeah. And, and we, you know, there's, there's a couple other things that we need that we've just, we've put off because they're. Um, will Nyota get that bed? She will. Yes. I think she will. Yeah. Um, I'll show you the bed that I, that I was hoping for. Hold on. I sent it to one of the moderators. Um, um, it was this, it was this bed that I was hoping that, um, because, but it was so expensive and I just couldn't quite like, it was something like this. This was the one I was hoping for because she likes to lay up high. Oh, come on, come up close. Um, she like it's something like that. There was like a couple different versions of that, but I thought she likes laying up high and she likes laying in like small little spaces. And I thought, um, I thought she would love having that like a space, but yeah, I thought she'd love having that like up on a wall, um, where she could have her own little cubby and her own little space. Um, so I mean, that that's definitely on the list of what. What? 
I thought they were neat too. So that's like a capsule bed. I thought she would really like that. Um, so that's what I was going to ask for you guys' help with. And then you guys were just like, we've got this. Um, <laughs> so yeah, she just wants to love. Um, can she lay in the clear bubble part? She can. Yeah. Yeah, you can lay in that whole part. There's another thing. There's another one that also looked pretty cool that I that I might get now too, now that we have like a little bit of extra funds. But there's another one that looks really cool too, but it's a clear bubble that goes downward. So they lay in it and like you can see they're like little toe beans underneath. Aww. It's so cute. Um, but so our goal is um, to try to move her and just see, I hope she likes it. That's my goal. I hope she likes it. So I really hope she does. That's I'll be a little sad if she doesn't like it and then I'm going to be like, okay, I don't have a backup plan for that, but we'll figure out I something. I think she will. She won't be so scared all the time. Yeah. Yeah. She's just, she's just in herself. Um, she's just such a, you know, a timid girl anyways. And I think that's where the picking on goes on, you know, is because she's just timid. She, she doesn't, She's so sweet. She won't tell you no. You know, she'll she'll like okay, pick on. You know what I mean? She's just so sweet. She won't tell anybody no. So I think that's where uh, is she moving today? That's going to be our plan. Our goal is to move her. We wanted to move her real quick. So I hope she'll move today. So oh, thank you. Did you bite me? Did you think I was a Pontiac Flake? <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, and Vincent, I think will be real sweet with her. So. Um, I didn't have a, I didn't think I, I should have brought like a picture of her room. Let me see if I can. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if you'd been on fire, you'd be pretty timid too. So it's very, that's a good point. Do you want to go up on your bed? Oh, sorry. sorry. No, no, no. You're fine. Let me go see if I can take a quick picture. I, I hope I've got it. I tried, I try to think of everything two ways from Sunday, but you know, that doesn't always necessarily mean. Food. Look, oh, there's no food there. And Eddie moved it. That one of the ones I thought. I didn't move it. There was that uh, one sitting okay. there this morning. Usually it is. It's right yeah. Oh, Spiker, be careful. Hi. Thanks for all your cleaning, Cindy. You're welcome, Jabba. I, I couldn't find Vincent. What's the matter? I couldn't find Vincent. Sure, you couldn't. You know where he was? Very top upper corner in that bed. That's He's like, this is nice. <laughs> yeah. Even Dr. Yes today. After we got done, so. It's it's yeah. not like I am definitely not a photographer, and this is not like a good room to get. Um. Oh. So, so this is not a good. So it it has a Coranda tower. Here's a litter box. Here's a Coranda tower. There's a shelving unit right over here, and it goes all the way around the top. Um, see, it goes all the way around the top and all the way around the other side. And then look, here's a window. It's right down here. It's like a perfect cat size window oh, right here. And then the TV and stuff. So this will, this will start. This will give her... Vincent was at the very... <laughs> Find the Vincent. Mm -hmm. And now he's getting a drink. Look at him. He's like, this is nice. <laughs> I like it up here. I hope I she'll... think she'll like it. Yeah. She really do. She'll have her own window. She can look outside. Um, she loves the TV. I'm very excited um, that she'll see that, like the TV. Is that the room? No, you're fine. Stop. No, no. Um... Is that the room wheelers in? No, it's actually different. The room wheelers in has a whole bunch of food in it. So that was one of our thoughts, but there is no, um, there is no way that uh, we could fit her in that room well, with all that no food. Well, there's no window in it. It's, it, it, it's well, I just, guess there is. There, but there is, but it's kind yeah. of half covered because we've got shelving in there to hold food and 
Since my husband with other cats to be told to chase. Yeah, I think, and Vincent's just going to be so happy. Does Vincent know he's going to be in a girly room? I think Vincent's just so excited about anything. He don't care. <laughs> he, he was excited that there was a crowned tower in there. Will you be able to get her down from where she is now? That's going to be the trick. That's going to be the trick. Um, but we can do it. We can. Yeah. So that will be the trick is, is the doing that part. So, um, well, actually, probably, um, I mean, should we just say we're going to, we're probably going to, um, I'm going to probably have the sound off and we're going to turn the ca camera around and, or cover the camera, thanks, Nance, um, just because it's probably not going to be like, we're just going to be following, falling all over ourselves and, um, trying to do this and we're going to be having to get up on ladders and stuff like that. So I think we're just going to like turn the sound off, cover the cam because we know what we're doing and we're no, we're being safe, but, and you guys are so kind and you're so caring, but I'm, I'm afraid if you guys, you know, you're like, ah, they're on a ladder and we'll all be nervous and that'll make us nervous. <laughs> so we might just cover the camera and um, we'll definitely check in though after we're done though and let you guys know how it went and all that good stuff. So it'll be fine, I'm sure. So, okay. Um, anything else that we need to update on? Oh, I had on my list. Someone asked me the other day and I had never truly given you guys an update. Buckeye's test results. Remember we had sent away for the cultures and the antibiotics and different things like that um, on Buckeye's test results. I did get those back and I for, forgive me guys for not updating you guys on that. Um, it, it was, it was really nothing. It was nothing, which is great. Actually, that's what we, we want. Um, nothing showed back or showed up on his, his blood work, um, on the, the culture samples from the tissue t samples that they had taken. Nothing showed up there. Um, so I asked Darcy, I'm like, well, what the heck was going on then? She's like, it was just too big to close on its own. Just needed that extra help. So uh, I guess, okay. I mean, it, it was a very large wound. I mean, it was. Yeah. So I'm actually, I'm relieved though, that it was nothing like horrible. So we don't know the reason it wasn't healed. We do, I guess it's just that it was so large. You know, that's the reason. reason. So it needed help. It needed help. It needed more help than, you know, some cream and you know gauze would cover it you know so that's okay when will buddy and his mommy be released to the main room i don't have an exact date but very soon i would imagine probably like maybe monday i'd like to do it on a week or during the middle of the week when we have more staffing here and we can all kind of keep an eye on i think that's just really smart so but they're doing great in there Buddy has not tried to escape again but we got the lock on the door he <laughs> so would like to he would like to he's he's been doing good Buckeye's doing great. Yeah, he's doing wonderful. <laughs> he's over there playing. Um, how's Barb? You know, I haven't heard from Barb um, for a bit, but last we heard, she was hanging in there. So we're hoping she just continues to hang in there. Oh, I didn't update all the babies in the back that had their spays um, done. Perfectly fine. All went fine. Um, Buttercup had a hernia repair. Great. It went fine. When is my trip? Um, we don't need the minutes and the seconds, Megan. Just tell them. <laughs> Who's counting? Um, no, I leave on May or March 4th to, and I will be back and working in the afternoon-ish time of March 15th. So I'll still be flying on March 15th, but I, I plan on being back like sometime in the afternoon then. She doesn't trust me for... You know. No, I'm just going to miss my babies. Baby. I'm going to miss my babies. You can send cards for Barb. Yeah. She is still at rehab. Well. Ready? Should we get on? Oh, my gosh. Time flies when you're having fun. It does fly. Yay. So, okay. Well, we'll get to doing it. How long has Sherry been volunteering? Oh my gosh, like.
um, 10 years, 15 years, a long time. Is Crumbles an outside kitty? No, technically 20 years. Gosh, time flies. Crumbles is not an outside kitty. She's actually, um, she's in the front, front thumper's room. I don't really know the best spot for her. Her and, her and Ilsie. She really likes the back. The front thumper's back room. Back thumpers room. It, yeah, her and Ilsie are like best friends. And they just, they're, they are. They're they, are they are. Um, and they just like. Where's one? The other one's always. I know. They're always by each other. Um, and they just. I don't know. They're they're just interesting creatures. Um, they're best friends, so I'd, I'm not really sure where they will proceed. It's I don't Cindy. know. Cindy. Are we going to have to sit out? Yes. Cindy. Yeah. They think you ought to write a Adventures of Moving Nyota story. <sighs> okay. Well, let's see how this all works out. <laughs> right. Need an idea. <laughs> Um, here's Abba. That was last night. He is a chronic tongue sticker outer. And he is Megan's boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he is quite a bit my boy. And you know what's really funny, which is probably, I, I have pictures of Abba, and I hardly have any pictures of a pony because, you know, who's a pony loves it a pony loves mommy she she absolutely does i have no doubt of that she loves her mommy but nothing compares to the funnest auntie in the world <laughs> <laughs> she loves aunt lynette so much um when aunt lynette or when lynette comes into work i mean she just trills and trills and then Oh. B bops up over her counter through this window. I'll have to record it someday. Through the window to get on Aunt Lynette's desk. Um, she loves it. When Aunt Lynette's not there, then mommy's like a good second bet. But nothing's nothing beats, you know, a good a good auntie. And she just loves she loves Lynette. Hi, little girl. She is, and she's always she's always B bopping. Jeez, I need more pictures of a pony. What a terrible mommy. You need to get them. Look at this picture of Abba, though, on the Chewy box. Is that not adorable? We need to send it to Chewy and be like, come on, you darn thing. Ladies. Look at him. Hi, Look at his little ham hock hanging down. <laughs> He's so cute. Um... I don't. I can't find a picture of a pony, but picture a pony looking in the exact same way, but with a pink collar. <laughs> so they look exactly the same. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they look exactly the same. Hence why she has a pink collar because she can't tell them apart. Um, Aww, I know Jessica. She is wonderful. She is one of the best humans. So, ooh, I like that Jabberwocky. <laughs> They're cute. All right, well, Lynette and I are going to let you guys go so we can get started on doing this um, uh, process. And um, we'll check in after we're all done. And um, I have them on here somewhere, Ponies. pictures of a pony, definitely. It's just I have four bazillion, gazillion pictures. Um, and it's hard to find them all. But uh, we'll let you know how it goes when we're, when we're done. So... All right, we will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for everything you guys do for our rescue and for Nyota and um, and for Buckeye and for all of our cats. I really don't think it'll be that big of a deal moving her. I don't think so either. Yeah, no. You can't take the whole house down. And just yeah. walk it in. Good luck with the egg. That could be another story. Yeah, the egg's going to be our bigger problem. Oh, geez. So, all right. Well, let's get ready to it. To it, do it. Okay. Do it, do it, to it. All right. <clears throat> If I have to have Dobby, do I have to take the Buckeye? Yeah. Yep. It's a two for deal. That's not Dobby. Who is that one? I was just oh, that's asking, Hallie. I was just asking the question. That's Hallie. She's a oh, really? Yeah, I think that's oh, Hallie. I got confused. No, that's Meowth. Oh. 
Oh, sorry. Wrong cat. Didn't even realize you had a tail. Oh, or there'll be a big enough bed for them to sleep together. There is a big enough bed for them to sleep together. And I have a feeling there might be a big enough bed coming. Wink, wink. <laughs> okay. Gee, why don't we just put the princess bed in? <laughs> oh. They think. They are cracking up. up. Okay, hey guys. All right, sorry for the delay. All is good. Um, we've just been um, busy <laughs> working on stuff and doing research and oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You guys are so <laughs> You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Jeez, you guys are like Man, you guys are wonderful. I That is so nice. We done the Nyota move. Um, okay. She cooperated very, very well. So she is now in her new room. We checked her over. Um, eyes, ears were perfect. We t trimmed her nails. We felt her all over to make sure there wasn't anything going on. Um, and she was perfect. So all went very, very well. Yes. We did sedate. Um, and it went great. She just laid there and fell asleep. And that was that. So she's awake now. Um, and in her new room, yes, she's a perfect princess. Yeah, good news, good news. Yes, we will move the litter boxes down. Does Vincent think of her? He's like, ah, oh, cool. She's just hanging out watching her. Yes, Jesse, we, we will put Marilyn in with her off and on and um, maybe some of the other ones. I'll check on her um, the rest of the day and and make sure that she's she's doing good. Is she out um, of the cage? Yes. Out of the crate? Yes. Did she go in the house? 
Um, did you, we moved did, the house. So I don't know that they know that we put her. Oh, out. she had not now nah, went in it yet. Okay. She was just kind of. We thought she might there. like that for familiar. Right. But yeah. How is the duck with the stuck egg? <laughs> well, I think that we did look at the duck, Megan held it, and I went feeling. <laughs> and I think the duck is a male. So, but we do have him in the um, in, here. in the dog pen, just to kind of keep an eye on him um, for the rest of the day. Yeah. Susie asked, "Which room did Nyota go to?" She went to um, what used to be the stuff room, but is now Vincent's room. Yeah. The duck is still a ongoing story, maybe. <laughs> well, hello. Yeah, Jamu, I I done some searching on the internet and from what I have read and seen I'm pretty sure it's a male. Our local vet does not treat ducks. Jesse, I don't think that um, Nyota's problem is that she misses Kira. I think um, it's more of just being, she's so timid and with the other cats kind of cornering her, I think it was, it's more of a nervous situation. But she done awesome. Any other questions? Yeah, it was getting stressful for her. I think she'll be much happier, Elaine. But we'll keep a close eye on her and make sure she's okay. She's got her TV, she's got a window. Yes, Mandy, we did update um, Nyota on her vaccines. She is all up to date now. Yeah, we'll keep you posted, but I think it, it's I think it's gonna be a good thing. Um, how's Jimmy doing? Jimmy is doing a little better. Um, he had a CAT scan done this morning, um, so we'll just wait for those results. We're still waiting on the um, um, Biopsy? biopsies. <laughs> Thank you.
Vincent shares remote. I don't know. He is a man, so it's hard telling. <laughs> Ooh, Cheryl T. I don't think there's anywhere in the main center for one. I don't know. We'll have to We'll have to talk to Megan about that. Hey you two. Gideon, is that you? Jesse, we do have cat calming diffusers um, throughout the rescue center. Thank you, Selena. Okay, Cheryl, keep that in mind. It's a good thing these cats aren't spoiled. <laughs> All right, hey. well, I'll let you get back to the cats. And so far, everything's going good. Yeah. You're right, Susie, yes, they'll never wanna go. <laughs> Nyota is eating and drinking right now, so she must be pretty relaxed. <laughs> Zoe, um, Megan did show a picture of the room earlier. But we'll get some more pictures of her in there. Tonight? No, but you're gonna have a lady from New York coming from tonight, coming for tonight. New York, New York, New York. New York. Um, what did I miss? I <laughs> the update was good. You told them all about the span or the um, sedation and everything, and yep. all went well. All went great. We updated her. Yeah, it was we a good time. Checked to get everything. Good time to get some a good brushing in and nails done and a couple vaccines in and all that. So, I mean, I'm telling you what, as far as yeah, that the ducks a male, the I ducks think. a boy. Thanks, Susie. Um, and Nyota's perfect. Her weight is actually pretty darn good too. So, um, her teeth were a little ucky. Um, when it, I cleaned them a little bit and then had to stop. Made her do it. Somebody said, it's Aki. I did. I did. It was really gross. It was really gross. So, um, I just, I don't know why it grosses me out, but I can handle other things. But she was like, move on over, wimp. I got this. And she did. She was like right up in there and she's like, I got this. So, Jenny. So, yeah. All is good. She is officially in her room. Um, Cindy just reported right now that she is eating and drinking. And she still is. And she's still eating and drinking. Okay, good, good. It, it's always good. You want them to eat and drink because that'll help some of the sedation come off. So, good, good, good. Yay! So hopefully, and um, good job, buddy. And uh, Vincent is up in the Vincent is up in the perch. Um, he's on top on the shelf, looking down on her. See, he's oh, like he's, he was down a few minutes ago. He just looked at her. You'll pluck out a dead eye, but yuck, dirty teeth. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, I, teeth, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I used to not be that? able to do teeth. Oh, but. it's from Mrs. Geraldi. I brought out, she sent gems. 
Ooh. And I'm going to try one of them. Hey. <laughs> on, um, these two. Oh. Um, there, there's actually some beds up there. There's like, um, her house is in there. Her house is in there. Her favorite house that she's up here. Um, while Lynette and I were doing the medical stuff in back, Cindy and Debbie pulled down her house. Oh, God, God bless you. God bless. Bless you. Excuse me. Bless you. Got it all cleaned up and, um, put it in there. So she should have all the comforts. I'm excited. I hope this goes well. I think it will. Yeah. I actually feel much better seeing her out and about and eating and all that stuff. Tell Debbie Baker oh. and I said, yo. When did this? Oh, yo. Thank you. <laughs> Sup? When did this handle break? Oh, my gosh. This weekend? No, no, no. Yeah, I, think I didn't come out on Wednesday because I got my headache. I think. Oh, maybe it was Sunday that it broke then. So Ow. now she can play with toys. There's lots of toys in there. Uh, no, it's the same handle that's broke. Uh, <laughs> there's lots of toys in there. There's um, all sorts of fun stuff. So it's going to be really fun. So I'm excited. Uh, Nyota's in this room right here. It's actually Vincent's room. So they're cohabitating, which I think will be fine. Vincent's still still up on the shelf like, hey, someone's someone's in my room. He's just looking at you. So that's the update. I missed part of it, but okay. So, all right. Um, okay, well, that's all I wanted to give an update for, which I think Lynette gave you most of it. So we'll completely, or we'll let you know how it goes as the days progress and all that. How many more days for Vincent? Oh, probably like 60, I think 60, right in there. Vincent's got a big sister, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks guys, you guys are wonderful. When do I leave? I leave on the 4th. And boy, oh boy, I'm looking forward to it. You guys are wonderful. 64. That Okay. I knew we were kind of in that range somewhere. Thank you, guys. Oh, they'll be bonded by then. Yeah, me. Who knows? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it?